Hello everybody, welcome to my English YouTube channel, Yes You Can English with Alex. And today, let's talk a little bit about more vocabulary. How much more do you need to learn to start an English conversation without any problem, without freezing the middle of the conversation? Let's learn it. Today, the topic is how many English words you need, do you need to learn to start an English conversation without freezing the middle of it? So, I'm Alexander Gonzalez. I have been studying English for more than five years right now. And at the majority of this time, I studied by myself. But I had uh, some opportunities to learn English with a privacy teacher some years before. And at that time, I have been learning a lot of amazing tips that I didn't even know before I started studying with him. And one of it is that the majority of people today is starting learning English with business vocabulary. And in my opinion, that is not the best part for start your English study. Because let's think a little bit about it. How many times do you speak English with your co-workers? How many times do you, uh, do you are friend, in front of your, your boss, in front of your, your co-workers to have a business conversation? I believe that is not so many times as you are with your family, with your friends. So that is the key that I'd like to, sh to start to discuss with you here today. So the best English vocabulary to start learning, to have an amazing conversation, to pick up the right or to pick up the really English, uh, the really English level, the really English conversation that you must learn is start learning English words that is related to your daily conversations, your daily life, not so, not just business conversation. So, for instance, I like to go to the park as I'm here. Today, I'm in the waterfall park with my daughter. My daughter is filming this video for you. And I bring, I bring the car here to help me record in this English video. So, that is, uh, that is, guys, as you just heard, I use a lot of English vocabulary related to my daily situations. Now, I'm at the Cachoeira Park, which means waterfall park in English. And when I came here, I use it to say that I use it to practice some sports, I run, I make some push-ups, some pull-ups, and I, I have an amazing conversation with my friends, I watch the people just doing their exercises, just spend their free time with their loved ones, and things like that. So that is exactly what I have bring here with you. So do not believe in that everyone told you before. You must learn English business because that is what will bring money to your life. That is what will bring opportunities to your life. And that is not true. As I told you, you need to learn, of course, you need to learn English business vocabulary. But the, the best way to start learning English is it to be with easy things, with daily things, with, run, with things that you normally face at your routine, your daily routine. Because I'm, I'm sure that it, it to be the best or the major part of your life that English will make part from your day. But how many, how many meetings, how many business meetings that you face every day? Let's compare one to another and let's see how many time you spend at work and how many time you spend with your friends. That is the key. If you follow this tip, I'm sure that you're gonna learn English faster than anyone then uh, that is exa that is exactly what i have been doing and i believe that it's work it works but of course as i told you at the beginning of this video english takes time so do not give up so that's it guys thank you so much to watch this video i hope you like it i hope you subscribe it here at my english youtube channel share it with your friends with people who are learning English by themselves and don't forget to click in the sign below here to have more notifications so Thank you so much. See you in the next English meeting. Yes, you can. English with Alex.